this is a really quick video, I'm hoping it's quick, just to show what's inside the Yeber lithium ion rechargeable pack for the Dyson V6 vacuum cleaner. I wanted to see what cells were inside this one. The battery packs actually failed or failing and I wanted to see if they were branded cells or what cells were in there. So you, as you can see they're Molicel and getting into this was not easy and as you can see pretty destructive so there's no easy way to open this without snapping a lot of the connectors which is sad in a way but that's just the way things are these days the gauge of the wires pretty good pretty impressed with that I mean it's uh, multi-core but there's there's good thickness there so they haven't scrimped on on the gauge of these wires The actual board, as you can see there, I don't know if this is uh, a board designed by Yeber or a generic board or even a Dyson board, but you can see there it's designed for DC62. It's got a version number, plenty of chips on here, so I'm presuming there's plenty of battery management on here. And the actual cells are well packed. I don't know if the case is, again, uh, something you can get off the shelf or custom made for Yeber. But it's covered in this foam to prevent any issues for knocking and make sure there's no loose cells. But they're well in there. So the board at the back, nothing too interesting, but you can see the kind of thermistor there, the actual temperature probe. So this is keeping an eye on the temperature of the batteries. So probably both as they heat up during their use and the same as when they're charging as well, I guess this keeps an eye. It's dunked in this what appears to be like silicone sealant. It's just dunked into there. So a bit crude. It doesn't touch the batteries. It's just inside this gunk, this white gunk. But I guess it's calibrated to stop charging or stop working at a certain temperature. And I don't know if this is what's caused my battery pack to fail from Yeber. It just only ran for about five minutes. It charged fine, and if I test the voltage, I'm getting the full 21 plus volts out of it, but it just doesn't seem to run for more than two or three minutes, tops. And the battery pack is less than a year old. So I'm just digging in here just to see what was inside. There isn't much to see. You can see it's just like a real rubbery sealant, a bit like you would uh, use for your bathroom. This is just a quick picture of the micro switch. So when you actually press the trigger, that triggers a lever and that lever just plunges on that switch. So tiny when you think about it. And there we go, as you can see there, it looks like it's uh, possibly one amp, 125 volts. So presuming that's well within the spec. I know the batteries can have uh, quite a bit of current draw when they're in use. Just a bit more of a close-up on that board again. I mean, it's nicely made. There's no, no weird kind of designs on here design issues looks quite well made for, for what it is so yeah these cells Molicel they're known known as a brand and they're not badly rated actually they uh, of course not the same mark as the Samsung's or the Sony's or the Sanyo's but they do seem to have a, a fairly good standing on some reviews I've seen a bit odd they've all had their serial numbers marked out with marker pen same with the um, QR code as well the quick codes it's a bit odd but um, I don't know if that's for a particular reason and again the case is well made nice and solid seems to protect the cells really well so it's a shame it died really a shame it has stopped actually being used as a battery pack but these possibly will live on in another device depending on how they well they go but 
Thanks for watching anyway. It's just a good video to see what's inside the Yeber battery pack. Cheers.